What's going on guys? This is it man, we've reached three years. I have been doing YouTube for three years and I gotta say that I feel more mature and more grown up ever since I've been doing this. Going back and looking at some old videos and I will be talking about a few uh, videos in this video about you know some of the earlier earlier videos that I've done and just kind of kind of doing an overview of my whole channel and and how it's how it's grown and how it's been doing as well as it has been doing and things like that. So, let's talk about my very first video. Now, the story about this is this is basically my beginning here. This is basically my intro into YouTube. Uh, the first video idea was originally going to be me dancing to the Shut Up and Dance With Me song. But that didn't happen because, obviously, copyright strikes. And this is when I was introduced to the, you know, the copyright laws and, you know, the, uh, the way YouTube works and their copyrights. I basically, it was an uphill battle to learn how to, uh, you know, get around copyright stuff and how to, um... How to learn how to make YouTube videos without, um, you know, getting copyrighted. And that used to be the big thing when I used to make videos in the first two years is, oh boy, I hope this doesn't get copyrighted. They used to be like a joke I used to make like all the time. Like, oh man, hope this doesn't get copyrighted. And part of that comes from that very first video that I tried to upload that uh, did not work because it was copyrighted and no, you can watch it. Um... But that was originally my idea for how I wanted to do uh, my some of my videos or how to... So so I had good ideas and expectations, but obviously because of law and stuff like that, you you know, you kind of have to work around it. Uh, and that's just how it is. And I learned, I learned the hard way when it comes to copyrights. Uh, and I feel like I, I learned the hard way in general when it comes to like YouTube and the YouTube curbs and stuff like that. But... Um, We've been doing very well. Obviously, we've been doing this for three years. Um, but the first video was a video about me um, in my apartment and basically doing like in a, an apartment slash house tour. That's what it basically was. And and it was very weird. And it was very awkward. And it was like one of the very first videos ever made. Uh, but one of the very first videos I ever made that actually uh, became, became like extremely popular um, was my bad blood in the family video which is basically the taylor swift bad blood song but i had my sister sing the vocals and we made our own little video little video clip it was it's an old video uh i'm sure you can find it um it's it, it was really fun to make it was actually my first time and i believe my only time it uh editing as much as i as i used to like i i t that was the first time i edited as I, I I edited a lot. Uh, it was like my first year, so it was really rough. Um, you know, obviously I got better and I was able to make it, you know, more of a habit over time of how to edit stuff. And, you know, I, again, I got better. Like, like, I, like I used to be really sucky at it and I used to, you know, not be so good at it. Um, but I got better over time. And I want to take this opportunity to think... Uh, my friends for supporting me and you know encouraging me to make YouTube videos because without them I would not be here today making videos for you guys and for you new subscribers and you new people and I appreciate every single one of you and I'm very happy that you guys are here. All right, so anyway, let's move on to my first gameplay walkthrough, which was Infamous First Light. Now, I never did get to play Infamous Second Son, but I did get to play its DLC. And that was the first HD 720p, like, uh, the, you know, live video. Those That's when I started doing, like, live videos and stuff. And um, I don't think I reviewed this game, but I think what I did was I reviewed, like, the at the, at the end of the credits, I reviewed it. But um, I don't remember, actually, what my first game review was. I think it was Assassin's Creed Identity. That was like a mobile game. Um, but Infamous First Light, uh, it was pretty funny because, you know, going back to my friends, um, you know, 
I was in study hall one time and my friend kind of shows me what he's watching on his phone and it was actually my video of Infamous First Light. And it was kind of cool because, you know, like, again, my friends really supported me uh, with a lot of things that I did uh, with my my YouTube and my videos themselves. So again, they, they really pushed it and, I, and I'm really happy they did because you know, it's it's really cool to have a community like this and, and to be as successful as I am. So I really appreciate you guys and I really appreciate my friends and, you know, my family too. I've even told my family and they're really supportive of it. Uh, so anyway, let's move on to my first movie review. And this is still year one. Uh, that was my Deadpool review. Uh, that... It was kind of funny because I remember I was in uh, gym or PE or um, we were in the weight room and uh, my friends were watching my my review of Deadpool and going going back and looking at my review of Deadpool, my thing with the Deadpool movie was that it just was focused on that relationship aspect too much and I didn't like that because I felt like the Deadpool game was like way funnier and I, and I, I don't know, I just, I had an issue with it and then I you know, met a friend who loved Deadpool. He saw my review. Um, he was he went to school with me. Uh, we're still friends to this day. Calls me out of the blue here and there. Tells me what he's up, what he's doing, and everything. And um, you know, it, it's it's really cool that you know I can you know make a video that I was kind of mean too. And his favorite superhero is Deadpool. It's kind of funny that he we, we became friends, but. Because I liked the Deadpool movie, but I did have issues with it. He loved the Deadpool movie, um, but I, but you know, you know, it's it's, it's whatever. Because again, it's just a movie, just a review. Um, anyway, let's move on to the the the, the second year. So this, this is year two, and the reason why I'm going so fast is because um, the last I did do it, I did do a take of this, and that take was like forty minutes long. And I cannot have this be 40 minutes long. I have to have this at least be 20 minutes long. So I'm trying to get through everything as fast as possible. So, but in a way where it makes sense and that it feels right. So I hope you guys are not too confused. I am going a little bit fast because I don't want this to be too long. Uh, let's move on to year two. Uh, year two is when I started really trying to be a lot like a daily uploader almost. Year two was my attempt to be like a daily uploader. I started uploading more. I started doing more game videos. I started doing more uh, reviews and movie reviews and different types of different types of videos. Uh, I started expanding more. I started doing more things. Uh, year two is when I really got creative and I really started doing other things and I really started spreading myself out. And uh, Year two, 20, uh, 2017 is where I started to, you know, be more of a YouTuber. I started, you know, kind of like the, kind of like Jacksepticeye. I, I wanted to upload a lot more. Like, I, like I, like, let, like, like year two, like was the year where I was just like, just grinding. Like year two is my grinding year. Like I was just so committed to uploading and to getting videos out like like that's what it was about man like um I'm not I was again I wasn't editing too much I was just getting uploads that's all I cared about was I just want to upload 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 um so now we get to another topic which was Spider-Man Homecoming now this is the video that I felt like shot myself in the foot because uh this video is probably one of the most controversial videos that I have ever made uh, probably a good maybe, I don't know, like maybe like 58% of people disagree with me and like 48% of people agree with me. Like, 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 no, like 52% agree, dis, dis, disagree and like 48 disagree, uh, do agree with me about the movie. And it's one of the most, like I said, it's one of the most controversial videos ever made, um, it's probably the video that made me so infamous like I am today. That video currently sits at like 16,000 views. Like that video is my most popular video, unfortunately. Uh, it, it's just so opinionated and so, you know, straightforward at you. And yes, I did nitpick that movie. 
Uh, and if I did really want to, I could go back and I could nitpick movies like the Amazing Spider-Man movies or Spider-Man from the Raimi movies, but I'm not going to do that because I love those movies and I felt like those movies got the character right. My thing with this movie was is that it didn't get it right for me. It didn't get the character right. It didn't understand who Peter Parker was as a character, and that's why I hated that movie. I've made it very clear, but like I said, if you guys like the movie... That's fine, but I just want to move on from that movie because I feel like I I focused so much on that movie, and you know we we talk about that movie so much on this channel. It's got to stop. Like I said, like like you know, and and the reason why I'm I'm bringing this up is because I'm trying to you know re remember the last three years. That's why I bring this up because you know it's something that I needed to address because it was the big video of the last two years that I've had on this channel. So I thought I'd bring it up because that video is really popular uh, and it's very divided. Probably, like I said, one of the most controversial videos ever made. And uh, it's very important that I remember that video because that video taught me how to be more patient. That video taught me how to be more uh, diplomatic with the way I talk because I was very opinionated in that movie. I was very angry. I was very uh, authoritative. Like it was like I the way I talked was very was more at you than than like like you know than explaining or talking. I should have explained more. I should have talked more. Instead, I was very angry, and it taught me never to do a review angry again, because if I do that, then I don't have a clear head. Uh, which we will obviously see if I do review the Spider-Verse movie. We will see how how I have learned. Now let's talk about the highlight of the year, which was Spider-Man PS4. Now when this game came out, everybody was excited, everybody was happy that, you know, we were getting a new Spider-Man game, because at that point I believe it was like, what, like, mm, like four years roughly four or five years so we haven't had a spider-man game in a long time so then that game came out and then i started covering the game a bunch of other people started covering the game they had a bunch of new channels start to spike up and and you know have conversations with each other and talk about it and i will come back to that but but there is one particular group and one particular person i want to talk about the spidey squad and Evan. Now, when these these guys started popping up, uh, and it was pretty crazy because you know they were basically doing the same thing like me, where they were just talking at t taking their phone, talking at a camera, yada yada yada. Here's the thing with Evan, though. Evan, I don't. I'll be honest. I don't know Evan very well. I really don't. But. There was a time where I wanted to be like a friend of his, like I actually wanted to be part of his little group, but I ended up getting pushed out of that group. I ended up getting the boot, and if you don't believe me, go watch one of their videos and try to find the conversation between me and Evan, because I basically was, they were looking down and I was looking up. Like, think of, like, the David and Goliath situation, where I'm looking up at them, and they're looking down at me, and I'm sitting there, I'm telling them, no, this is stupid. And they're like, we don't give a fuck. Bye-bye. And they give me the boot. Out of here. So, that's what basically happened. Now, the events that led to that was, you know, we started talking more. We started having conversations more. We were talking about the game. That's a community. When... You know, we're all talking about the, the the game. We're all going to each other's videos and getting ideas from other people and then thinking about new things and new ideas to talk about. That was a community. But then the invention of the Spidey Squad was made. And then those seven motherfuckers decided to put themselves up on a pedestal. And then... People started getting this weird thing in their head where they were like, oh no, like I'm not a big fan of Spider-Man because I'm not with that group, Spidey Squad. So then they want to be in the Spidey Squad. And then the Spidey Squad's like, you got to fill out this form and this form. They, they're basically like a fucking contract. What the fuck is this? <laughs> so it, it went to that, that, that level of stupidity. It went to that level of stupidity when before it was, okay, 
we're all just fans of Spider-Man and we're all just kind of talking about it and, you know, we're all friends here, right? But then when you got those people who put themselves up there, that's when shit gets bad. That's when shit gets real bad. And I have even have been hearing some things about how toxic the community is. I've been hearing things like how bad the community is. I've been hearing things like, like literally before I made this video, uh, Amazing Lucas was saying that there's like pedophiles in the Spidey squad. What the fuck? I mean, like those seven dudes can't even keep shit under control. Okay. Like, do you know, do you know the amount of people who have discords and, and things like that, where they have, they have to keep the fan base under control because of how crazy and out of control it get? That community obviously has no control. And I've had people who are friend, who are like friends of mine. I will say like friends because I don't know them in person, but who come, came up to me and said, Mike, dude, like, like this squad is out of their fucking minds. Like, like, like they're crazy. Like, and I'm be like, and I'm sitting there. I'm like, well, I don't know, man. Like, do what you do. You do what you got to do. Me, I'm not even part of that group. Like, <laughs> I mean, which is very contra controversial because you can go to Evan's channel and see that my name's in there, even though I don't ever feel like I ever was part of it. And that's what happened. It got to a point where it felt like, for some people, listen to me. Just because you're not in the Spidey Squad does not mean you're any less of a fan of Spider-Man than you are, okay? That, that, that doesn't matter, okay? Who cares what they think? It's about what you think. And that's, that's the whole thing with me and, you know, what I believe. So don't feel like you have to be in that group. If you want to leave, get the fuck out of there. If it's really that bad, leave. Do not stick around. Because then it's just going to get worse. And you're going to keep meeting those people who are toxic as hell. And who are apparently pedophiles. So just do what you got to do. Don't feel obligated to, to stick around there. And, you know, my thing is, is that I just kind of do my do my thing. I barely pay attention to them. I'm not subscribed to, to them. I... I I don't even look at their channels. Like I just I I don't even pay attention to them. Like I just you know worried about my channel and you guys. That's all I care about. And some of you guys are from the Spidey Squad, and you guys come to me and you ask me, hey, uh, I don't know what to do here. This these people are out of control, and I just tell you like, hey, <laughs> I just tell you what I think and hope that it helps. But you know when it comes to your fandom, you know. You are the dictator of your fandom. If you say that you're the biggest fan of Spider-Man, then you're the biggest fan of Spider-Man. That's your own opinion at that point. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, like doesn't you don't have to be part of a of a group online to be the biggest Spider-Man fan. Okay, it doesn't matter. But anyway, let's move on to uh, one more thing before we get to more personal things, which is the. Sp Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, will I review it? Uh, I believe people have been kind of been asking me this question lately. Uh, and the reason why I, I did not know if I was going to... I still don't know if I'm going to review it because... I don't know if I'm going to review it because I feel like if I review it, it's going to be a lot like Homecoming, where I'm very opinionated, I'm very dictatorship, and I'm very authoritative. I don't want to do that, and I don't want to be that way. But obviously, if I do watch that movie and review it, I'd have to wait like a few days to cool off because I'm probably going to get mad. But um, I don't know. I just I, I don't want to really talk about things that piss me off anymore. I want to talk about things that I love to talk about or things that make me happy or that I enjoy. Like, I don't really want to talk about things that make me mad anymore. But, you know, because of Stan Lee, I feel like I need to. And, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know if I, if I, uh, if I do, uh, review it or not. You'll see it. You'll see it pop up. Um, so now we get into more personal things. So, obviously this year sucked. Uh, we lost a lot of people. We lost Steve Ditko. We lost Stan Lee. We lost the creator of SpongeBob, just to name a few people. Like, we lost so many people this year. And me, I think it was worse because, like, 
I remember I had people who kept asking me, oh, oh, when, how's Patches doing? And then all I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, like how much I don't even want to make a video because of how sad I am because when Patches died, my, my, my bunny Patches, I, I buried her and I, you know, I was very sad and, you know, I, and then the, my bird, one of my, now my brother's birds flew away, Blue Jay, he, he's probably dead, maybe, hopefully he's fine, but still he just flew away, and it's like, damn, like, I lost him too, and then, and then it got even worse, then we, then I lost my Uncle Tommy, and then I had to go to his funeral, and, and then, a, and then, like, not even a week, like, a week later, and then all of a sudden we, uh, lose Stan Lee, and I'm thinking to myself, like, what the fuck is wrong with this year? It's just such a sucky year. This this year just sucked. And I was so sad. Like, like I was so upset and depressed. Like, like you wouldn't believe. Like, my, my one of my family relatives just passed away, and then all of a sudden Stan died. I was completely just shocked. I fell to my knees, man. I was, com I was standing up. I, that's why people ask you to sit down. Because, like, you might just fall. And I almost did just fall. And I felt, luckily enough, that I fell on my knees when that happened. Because I was just, that was terrible when I got the news. I, I was just, it was terrible, man. And then all of a sudden, recently, we lose the creator of Spongebob. And people love the hell out of that show. I love that show. And then all of a sudden, I hear that he died too? What is wrong with this year? Like, this year just, this year, death is like... I'm coming for all the souls. Like, <laughs> it's like, whoa, like, come on, take a break, buddy. Like, it's so ridiculous. And, you know, and then I heard a bunch of people started talking crap about Stan. And uh, I was mad. I got mad, like very mad. Like, I wanted to make a video about those people, but I felt like it was too soon to talk about the people who were disrespecting Stan Lee. So I decided to not make a video about uh, addressing those people, but um, you know, I, 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 it, it really got to me because it's like, really, you really got to talk some shit after the this legend just died type of thing. I was mad, like, and you know, I maybe I might make a video on it, but then again, I think they're finally just done talking shit. But that really did piss me off. Because he's like, really, you're going to disrespect the man? Stan the man, Lee? You son of a bitch. I just wanted to smack him up. Um, but really a sucky year. Really just a bad year, man. Like, And then recently I um, almost got into a fight with my dad. But yeah, that almost happened. Um, you know, I been going to the gym a lot. I've been trying to, I've, I've been in physical pain. I've been sore. I, I think I tore something in my arm. Like, like I just have I physically and mentally and emotionally, I have not really been here. So it's, it's, it's probably another reason why I haven't really been doing YouTube videos, which is probably what will lead me into my next, which my next topic, which is, will I quit? And I brought this up in my Stan Lee video and you know, Nobody talked about it, which I'm happy about. I'm glad nobody talked about it because, you know, I didn't want people to really, wor you know, think about that too much because, you know, we were just, we were all there to just, you know, remember Stan and, you know, you know, it's, it's getting to be that time when, when we finally have to move on. But, and that's why I'm, I'm, I need to answer this question. Will I quit? And the answer right now is I don't know because you know I ever since Stan died I feel like I feel like I need to keep making videos like look when Stan died I made like three videos in a row like just talking about the Spider-Man game or the DLC and everything because I was so just committed to being like okay I gotta do this for Stan you know like I gotta gotta show my respect and show my honor like and I was just pushing myself so hard and then. I disappeared for like two weeks because I was I was working out and stuff, so I wasn't even able to get to a video because I've been sleeping sleeping all morning and, and like awake like all night. So like I just you know it's, it's been pretty crazy for me, but 
you know, I do want to keep making videos for you guys, but will I quit YouTube? I don't know. I will give you guys an answer soon. I need some time to think about it. Uh, and, you know, you'll know. You'll know. Uh, you'll, you'll know. But, um... Anyway, uh, I guess the last thing I want to say is thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting the channel and thank you guys for, for being here and, you know, just thank you. I really appreciate it. And, you know, so it's, it's a lot to deal with. This was a really tough year, but hopefully next year is like God giving us all a million dollars. That would be amazing. <laughs> he descends from heaven and just gives me a million dollars. <laughs> oh, man. I miss Tabushkis. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I'm out of here. Up, up, and away. See you guys.